Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Colorado, <laughs> the Rockies. I get a first dose of uh, snow up here. Chains are, are not enforced just yet. Um, still got traction, and the guys are doing a good job of plowing the road. Uh, just wanted to share this quick, quick little clip with you guys right quick. Uh, so far, no accidents, nobody sliding off the mountain yet, which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, my truck's going to be filthy dirty. This trip here uh, goes to um, uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Delivers tomorrow, but I'm going to try to drop it off today. Then I pick up my beer load going back to Arizona. Yeah, time for Thanksgiving Day, but the load that I'm picking up will deliver on uh, Friday, but then I'll, I'll take the rest of the, the weekend off and come back out on Tuesday. Spend time with the family and the loved ones and everybody since I've been gone forever. All right, just wanted to share this with you guys right quick before I put the camera away and focus on the road. So scenic up here during this time of the year, folks, but also can be very dangerous. Um, avalanches, uh, black ice, things like that. Just use good judgment when you're out here, even in a car. You see right there, the speed limit sign says uh, 65 miles per hour. Who in their right mind is going to do that stuff on these slick roads, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's like good judgment. It's a judgment call up here, but if you're in a CMV, a commercial vehicle, I highly advise you do like what I've done, 43. And then I have the Jake set to four, which um, it helps me with the braking. That way I won't wear out my brakes. Um, it's the state trooper. It looks like we got somebody in a ditch already. I see Christmas lights up there. Or either that he's making a U-turn. Or he's just got to post up be through the buddy system. Put this camera down before he get behind me. Say, hey, I saw you. And here he comes. Yeah, here he comes. You know what they're probably doing? It's trapping all of us in because none of us have our chains on, but the lights weren't illuminated for the chains, you know what I mean? So, apparently there's something going on up there, up ahead. It never fails. But I have a heavy load, so I have traction. Um, well, it's not all that heavy. Well, it's heavy enough to keep all 18 wheels firmly pressed on the on the asphalt out there. Uh, I think I'm at 20, 24,000 pounds, uh, which pretty much ain't nothing. But yeah, I got traction. But yeah, oh man, I just slipped. Wow, you guys didn't feel that, did you? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna end this pretty quick. Uh, just wanted to share this with you guys when it's up here at the Vail Pass. Once you get out of Vail Pass, it's pretty much smooth sailing because Vail is pretty much the highest part of this uh, mountain. Uh, it tops out around 11,000 feet. Uh, we got one more incline to go up right now. I think we're at 9,000 right now, but we got two more thousand to ascend and then. Um, we're starting our gradual descent uh, down into the Denver Basin. Uh, and that's where it gets tricky, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, because it's 7% grades, you know. It's all about good judgment out here. Um, I'm gonna leave it right there with you guys. Because uh, it's really, the front tires are starting to slide a little bit. I wanted to share this with you guys and let you guys see what I'm going through.
That's why I do these videos and these flying shows to share with you guys what it's like. It's for those of you that are curious or are wanting to come out here, and that's what I'm doing this for, to show you guys and all you guys overseas, show you guys America's type of weather. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it right here, guys. And uh, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. Love you all.